its 15 years in existence has positioned itself in a very good place when it comes to the justice delivery sector, notably for its role as a facilitator of the Justice for All program. And as such, leveraging on our expertise and the goodwill of the judicial service, we are in a good position to even bring access to justice to the doorsteps of women to be specific because most research have indicated that women are the most vulnerable even though they form a major part of the population in Ghana. Imagine if women have this kind of platform that the men have, the kind of transformation it will bring into our society. Because even though they are now taking care of the house, it was not being paid, they are cooking, they are taking care of children. If men are to employ people to do this work, they will pay them. But women who are wives and mothers are taking care of children, playing the role as mothers, and then playing the role as wives, and playing the role as caretakers in the house, as well as going to the market to sell, and others in corporate businesses, yet they are able to pick up all these jobs. Issues in the market, we try our best to settle in the market. Other than that, if, if you go to court or go to police station, you will come back and still the problem will be there. So we try as much as possible to do a very genuine settlement. I would say on a daily basis, if we receive 20 cases, 8 out of the 20 are made up of women in business issues. Most of these women are traders who come with issues like uh, the, uh, people are indebted to them, they contracted a loan and uh, you know they are unable to make the necessary payments because they are unable to meet their sales targets and all of that. So we try to assist resolve this issue. When we are settling the cases to we make sure there is justice. Because if there is no justice, you cannot get the peace. So if you treat them fairly, equally, without partial, you see that always there is peace. We do that through ADL, where we invite the other party and then we assess them, negotiate, come to terms as to how to pay and all of that. We have succeeded in resolving most of these cases that come to us. We realize that most of these cases that come to us are people who are normally, they have a good business relation, so we don't encourage them to end up in court so we try to assist them through ADR so they can continue with their business relations. If the authorities allow market people to, to bring their cases, I think the whole of the year they will do nothing but settle market cases. Sometimes there are petty petty issues that can be settled. It's my hope that by the time we are done, the alternative dispute resolution mechanism in Ghana will be strengthened to address issues pertaining to women and their businesses, in that it will be more gender responsive and women can work in directly at any time, have their issues resolved in a timely and effective manner. <laughs> Tu vois qu'à craindre ma fille, à me Vulnerable, especially when it comes to money issues. And unfortunately, because we don't have proper bookkeeping, proper accounting, it is very difficult for us to collect loans from the former sector, that is the big banks. Because if they say bring, bring, bring your accounts trouble, bring your documents trouble. But presently, we have been going through some education, some workshop on how to manage our accounts. 
If you you go to the bank and they say, pray for that you don't have. Because most of the women, they do their properties and they use their husband's name for their property. So if you want to take loan, it means the husband has to approve. Whereby, if the husband is doing a business and the husband wants to take loan, GIZ's Rule of Law project hopes to see female entrepreneurs who are particularly vulnerable become aware of these existing mechanisms to access to justice, um, legal information, their rights and remedies under previous mechanisms. Gender equity because we live in the process of empowering women. We cannot also leave behind the men. So in resonance with the UN Agenda 2030 of leaving no one behind, we would also like to have men on board. As you empower the woman, we also teach the man to appreciate both weaknesses and strengths of the woman. While the woman also appreciates the weaknesses and strengths of the man, and together they move together and help each other to achieve especially the sustainable development goals which have been set. Oh, it depends the way a woman starts a relationship. Maybe it's a me more of a shaman. It's sometimes a band. So a band is a team or 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 a Example, <laughs> So if women took up the role of men that we have we have not positioned them at the kitchen and for some specific purposes, but we play the, the same role and have a level playing field. Imagine what women will bring to bear and the kind of transformation they will bring to society.